Woo freaking who? How you doing, folks? Hope you're doing better than I am. I ain't happy. And it ain't gonna take a minute for me to get happy. I got a Husqvarna 455 Ratcher here on the table. I ain't happy with it. At all. Get a little perturbed. I ought not use that word because I don't think I'd spell it. But here's what's going on. I was asked to take a look at this little saw running wide open. Well, my mind's running. I'm trying to think, oh, what, what I'll be making? It's got to be something simple in there. I found quite a few simple things. And they my fault for not looking first. But speaking of looking, take a minute. Jungle Bob Repair. He's got, and I've said it before, I'm saying it again. Take a minute. The link's in the description. The man has got some good content. Check him out. I'll wait. chainsaw running wide open. I didn't crank it. I took the man's word on it's running wide open. And as you can see, right here on top, well, it didn't even have, don't even have screws in it. Got a big old air gap. So I decide, let's correct that. Then I get to looking and decide, well, the fuel line on here is the wrong size. It, it, it's not even fitting well. Let's pull the carburetor off and do that. And this is where I make my mistake. Carburetor's off. It's in my hand. I'm already seeing things that shouldn't be. You just don't leave the screws out. You don't put the wrong size fuel line on. There should have been warning signs going off everywhere. No. What I do? Put the doggone carburetor back on. I do crank it. It runs for not wet. And I don't mind a man trying to help himself and fix it himself. But by golly, if you're going to dig in it, you own it. And if you can't get it put back together, at least bring me all the doggone parts. So I dig back in there and decide I'm going to pull the carburetor back off and take a closer look. Y'all see what I see? Fuel filter was clogged up. Plum clogged up. That's on me. I had it in my hand. I should have opened it. I should have looked. Well, we got that problem. Let's go on, flip that thing over to the other side. And let's take a look. And lo, whoa. You got to put all the parts into a small engine for it to run properly. No gasket. All on me. I've been fiddling around with this saw all morning. Whose fault? Is it the customer's fault? No. He come looking for help. Customer my eye. I'm just trying to help a fella. So I guess what I'm the point I'm trying to get across. Slow down. It ain't brain surgery. You see a problem like that going on? Dig deeper. Don't, don't assume that the other fellow would have done the same thing you would have done. The other thing I'm mad about, I ain't got the doggone part to put in it. 
but we're gonna order a brand new kit, rebuild this carburetor. And I just wanted somebody to complain to. Hey, I appreciate you hearing me complain. I think I'll go get me another cup of coffee. Settle down. Think about it. Help old Roost out. Hit that subscribe button. Dingy bell. You know where it's all at. Do it. I got I gotta go get coffee. See y'all.